I've had some of the best beer in the world. Now it's time to change that. Up this round on a Beer Snob's Cheap Brew Review, Yingling's Black and Tan. And it is a brisk autumn day here in the Beer Snob's Beer Garden, regardless of what time of the year you're watching this. So I thought it would be a perfect day for Yingling Black and Tan. Porter and Premium Beer. I have to take a little issue with this being called a Black and Tan because a proper Black and Tan is mixed where you have a lager on the bottom and then a stout on top. Preferably Harp and Guinness or Bass and Guinness. That's usually the, what a proper Black and Tan is. However, now I'm not big, a big fan of a pre-mixed Black and Tan at all. The, the difference with this is, this is Porter and Premium Beer mixed together. I would classify this as a Porter. If you're a fan of the darker beer, uh, it really it tastes and, and feels like a porter. So let's go ahead and uh, pop the top and see what we got. First telltale sign that this is a cheap beer, it's got a screw off lid. That's one of my signs of a cheap beer. Time for the liquid to hit the lips. Yingling always puts out a consistent product and from their traditional lager, good. It's one of my top shelf cheap beers. The Golden Pilsner I reviewed also on the top shelf of cheap beers. But a Yingling Black and Tan, uh, if I'm rating it as a black and tan, I would not rate it very high. But as a porter, which is part of it, mixed with their premium beer. Ooh, look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbly. But as a dark beer, specifically a porter, I would rate it, put it up pretty high on the, uh, on, on the shelf. Of course, Yingling out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, America's oldest brewery. And I spent a long time in South Jersey, and South Jersey is pretty much a suburb of Philadelphia. Yingling is all over the place. I mean, you, you, all you have to do is go into any bar or pub in, uh, in the Philadelphia area and just ask for a lager and you get a Yingling. Again with the bubbles. Yeah, on a nice crisp day, also you have that dark beer. It has very good lacing if you pour it into a glass. And I think it's only about 4.6% alcohol, if I googled correctly, which is pretty much an all-day, all-night kind of beer. And as far as a cheap beer is concerned, I'm going to put Yingling Black and Tan up there pretty... I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top shelf, right next to the Yingling Lager, right next to the Yingling Golden Pilsner. Out of five stars, five being a very good cheap beer, I'm going to go ahead and give Yingling Black and Tan 4.44 stars. Look at here, it's a beautiful day in the Beer Snobs Beer Garden. Hopefully it's a beautiful day wherever you are, regardless of the time of year you're watching this video. And don't just sit there, go drink yourself a cheap beer, perhaps a Yingling Black and Tan.